Hi, uh, um, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be making uh, some basic text motion in Sony Vegas, which you can check out, which was on the trailer for my next jewel-tage between me and my friend. So yeah, I'll just show you that if I, I have to put it in draft first because I don't have that much. Right, so yeah, blurs in like that slows down and blows straight back up again. So yeah, I'm going to be making that. So we'll open a new project file and we're going to be importing some video. So I've got some cinematics here. Uh, use the high rise one. Uh, set maintain aspect ratio to none uh, and then uncheck these two here and drag it in at the top get rid of the black bars and at the bottom I'm not going to be doing any color correction at the moment but because you can do that yourself but you know okay now add a new video track and we're gonna insert some text, you can use some Tony Sony Vegas text but I'm going to use some text I made in 3DS Max so I'll use I'll use one that doesn't move like coming soon, we'll put, you put the coming soon one on okay so at the moment you can see it's got a green background but so we're going to add a chroma key and just put the green screen on that the main then makes it invisible and we can animate it. Okay, uh, we're going to need to add a linear blur effect so we can just put the horizontal light on for now. It doesn't really matter. Just turn it down so you can do that. Uh, and then we want to go on to event pan crop which is here. If it's not there you can just right click and go video event pan crop there. So yeah, we want to be starting off with the uh, coming soon at the left, coming on at the left hand side. So I don't know why this happens, but you know, you have to drag it to the right. So we drag it to the right. And then, oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, and then add a keyframe. Move this way a bit move down the track a bit and then drag it on so you can see just a small just a small amount in fact no we'll put put it there and then drag quite a far way down so this is going to be like a slow text motion to there back to there yeah and then drag it a bit, little bit further forward and drag it all the way off should be done. Okay, let's see what we've got. If my computer would be responsive, put it in a draft. Okay, it's a little bit laggy, but you get the idea. Just yeah, it comes in fast like that, slows down, and then zooms off right at the end like that. Okay, now this is we're going to be using the linear blur, but we'll go back on here a sec. Drag this to the side, make it a bit smaller. And we're going to we want to add some markers. So we'll add, that's where our first most important keyframe is. So we'll add a marker there, press M. And then we want to add another marker there. Click your track, press M again. Right, and then you can close that, come on to here, horizontal, linear blur even, sorry. Uh, put that up a bit, in fact no, make that quite, the amount quite a lot, and then drag it across till it lines up with your first marker here. Uh, and then you want to add a keyframe, but turn it down a bit. And then go one, just press like right on your keypad or something, just once. And drag it all the way down to zero. 
and then your next you want to come here line it up with that but we don't want to start there we want to start just to the left and we'll press add another keyframe and then turn that up a bit and then all the way to the end just turn it up all the way or however much you want and then we should have a good result I hope yep that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I'd like to see what you guys do with it so put it in the video response and uh, if you need any help put a comment and don't forget to subscribe and rate see ya